Hello, 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 hello. It's um, another day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Um, it's a beautiful day, but you know, um, the sun is out. It's so beautiful. But I'm just taking time out to um, rest today. Um, not going to be evangelizing today. Um, but um, I thought... Um, I should um, come online and say some few stuff, hallelujah, um, especially um, in this time whereby um, we're going to be um, celebrating Mother's Day, you know, uh, there, there are a lot of things, um, I believe, that when we really search out the scriptures in the Holy Word of God, it has um, nothing to do with Christianity, hallelujah. And um, Christianity is um, our way of worshiping the Almighty God, understanding who Jesus Christ is, way of lifestyle, way of living, behavior, character. And you know, uh, Jesus Christ came to um, reveal his kingdom on the earth. I mean, when Jesus Christ came to reveal his kingdom on the earth, he says, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He did not come as a religious person, but he came to um, legislate, to enforce his government on the earth. Now, what does his kingdom look like? The Bible says the kingdom of God is not just about eating and drinking, but the kingdom of God is of righteousness, joy, peace in the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, when we come to the kingdom, is a is a matter of us repenting, is a matter of us uh, being sincere with ourselves and understanding we've gone wrong, we've gone away from um, the Lord, and we need to come back to Him with an open heart in sincerity, you know. And it's so um, important to have an open mind to God Almighty and we should not let um, things block our understanding or, or the ability to receive from Him. You know, even Jesus Christ says, it's important that I go, that when I go, I'll send what the Holy Spirit, what who is the Spirit of truth. So the Spirit of God is truth. He comes to bring truth and understanding and revelation to his people by his Holy Spirit and that is why we must be um, in constant relationship with the Holy Spirit because if we do not have um, constant relationship with the Holy Spirit then we will be able to accept doctrines of demons which was um, you know uh, the Bible talks about and warns us of you know their seducing spirits uh, the demonized spirits out there you know the doctrines of demons and you know having itchy ears and being dull our heart that we cannot receive the living water we cannot receive the living word the fresh manner you know and um it is so important that we receive um the word of god the living word of god it's so important that we receive jesus christ into our lives for real because you know there are many people pretending uh to be um Christians or pretending to have the word of God, but they haven't got the concrete word of God, if that even makes sense. You know, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. And it is so important that we understand that when we are in Christ Jesus, we are surrend we surre yeah, we surrender to him um, in spirit and in truth. For God says he's looking for true worshipers that worship him in truth and in spirit he says um which worship him what in truth and in spirit and how can we worship the living god in truth and in spirit if we are not sold up to him not surrendered to him not giving our minds our attention to him you see um even says early will i seek the face of the lord so we give god priority and even in our day we give god priority in our uh in our uh in our in everything that we do we give him priority we give him first we celebrate him we honor him we reverence him uh you know even the lord says i am a jealous god i'm a jealous god you know so um when we um as the people of god replace 
God with something else than it is idolatry. You know, and that is the most important thing we must understand that if we're doing something, um, especially when it's celebrating something or someone, we must do it in the eyes of the living God. Uh, you know, and it's so important because, you know, we as uh, the people of God, over time, what has happened is that we have modernized Christianity and we're calling something that is Christianity, but it's not. It is actually secularism and worldly worldliness, if I put it in that sense. When we look at the book of Acts, we don't see um, the early church doing all kinds of things like that. And even Paul warns the church of uh, these customs and traditions. You know, Paul says, I've come to what? Preach Jesus and him crucified so it's so important that everything that we do is centers in jesus christ and you know like valentine's day that you know people take out a day to celebrate their uh, loved ones and stuff like that is idolatry because it should not take one day for you to celebrate your husband or your wife you should be celebrating your husband your wife every day every moment it's not you just pick up one day and out of the whole year you pick up one day the same way like christmas you know even christmas is not even the day that jesus christ was born if you cut if you calculate the the seasons you understand that jesus christ was not born on the 25th of december so we must understand that whatever we do it must glorify god and you know when we take a day like mother's day to honor our mothers or celebrate our mothers that is idolatry because you know you are celebrate you're given a day to your mother but the day belongs to god and that is why i say it's idolatry why because you're choosing a day to honor or to give uh, reverence to your mother and reverence and honor belongs to god almighty god has given us our parents as custodians over us and we must appreciate them any other day any day it shouldn't be a day like mother's day that we celebrate them like the world does we we the bible says we're not of the world we live in the world we we are not of the world he says do not be conformed to the things of the world and mother's day is a thing of the world there is nowhere in the bible that tells us about mother's day like there's no uh, since i've been a christian for my life i've never seen uh, mother's day in the bible unless a person can show me scriptures in the bible which talks about mother's day and, and we should, should celebrate mother's day then please let me know you know if you are a christian and you're celebrating mother's day and you're saying that you know uh it's, it's it is right there's nothing wrong with celebrating mother's day then please come with a scripture to back up your your claim if you're saying we're supposed to be celebrating mother's day and we even celebrate mother's day in the church let me know where in the scripture it says that we should celebrate mother's day the Bible says, Jesus Christ specifically says, the house of God will be a house of prayer. So why is it that we align all these things of the world, exactly like Christmas, Christmas, we take up what a Christmas tree, put it in the church, and then we, we say that this is Christianity. When did Christmas tree become Christianity? When did um, all the Easter bunnies and all those things and, and Easter eggs become Christianity? We must be careful to do what is right in the sight of the living God. We cannot be ignorant to the things of God. A, eh? come with somebody. Because let me tell you something. There's a very thin line that us Christians, they're walking in. And you know, this thin line, what is happening? We are, we are stepping over things. We're stepping over things. We're stepping, we're stepping, we're stepping over. Like the, like the, um, what you call it now the, the people in the wilderness they were stepping over things and as they were continue stepping over then what happened then they started accepting things that are not of god and as they started accepting things that are not of god what happened they went round the wilderness time and time and time again they were not uh, they were not able to experience the fullness of his presence that's why even when moses came down the mountain he, they, they had to cover his face because the glory of god was so on him so much 
you know and I believe in this time we need to be careful with how we treat the things of God you know we cannot pollute the house of God we cannot defile the house of God we must be careful to uh, to 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 not allow strange fires into the house of God for the house of God is holy we must be holy we must do everything that we can to be holy and righteous before the living God because let me tell you something everything that we do today God we will stand before God Almighty you know and God wouldn't tell you to oh, go and celebrate go and celebrate Mother's Day. He won't tell you to go and celebrate Father's Day. No. Honor belongs to God. Reverence belongs to be, 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 uh, belongs to Him. He says, "I am a jealous God." So imagine, God is a jealous God. So you're giving your mother more than God. The people that even worship their parents more than God. So you're an idolatry. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta speak the truth. Some people don't like to hear this or you know but you know sometimes as christians we, we need to open our ears and stop um you know play, playing uh this this funny wishy-washy kind of christianity and and then and then just oh this this is this is this uh, is is it that is it doesn't have no it doesn't harm nobody you know all we have to do is love and all those foolish kinds of talk it's foolishness it's religiosity you know you are being religious you are you are being uh circularized you are being modernized it is strange fire strange fire so we must we, we must not act like as if we ain't got sense we must act like we are the people of God and we must be wise in what we do because we cannot be like the world I'm sorry we cannot be like the world we got to wake up and be honest and, and 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 be truthful to ourselves you know when when I was when, when I gave my life to Jesus and as I, I gave uh, as I walk in the things of God there's no time there's nowhere that you know I had a, I had a, a, a there's nowhere that you know there was a time whereby it says oh let's celebrate Mother's Day or Father's Day nowhere mm -mm. even Christmas even Christmas that we do um all these um uh, these plays and everything it's all, it was all about Jesus it was all about Jesus Christ so I, I don't know I don't know what's happening with uh, uh, this Christianity. I, I don't know, but it's it's strange. It's a it's a strange one. You know, you, you cannot you cannot mix water and oil. You, when you drink it, it's, it's 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 polluted. You know, and and I, I just feel like or I believe, you know, that is what is happening. Is that that's what I'm seeing? You know, you we're mixing water and oil, and water and oil does not mix. It is not pure water. You know. And you know, he says, "I'm the what the living water. He's a living. He's holy. He is pure. Jesus Christ is holy and pure. So why would you would you add something to him that is not told us to add? The Bible even tells us that we should not add or subtract to the word of God. So why are you adding things to the? Why are you adding things that are not supposed to be there? Why are you adding things to the things of God that are not supposed to be there? You know, uh, you know, the Christmas tree not supposed to be in the house of God. You know, Easter bunnies, Easter eggs not supposed to be in the house of God. You're taking the worldly things and putting it into the kingdom. That's what you're doing, and that is sin. It is sin. Let's just put it how it is. It is sin. It is idolatry. And that's where you see most uh, most of the things that you see happening in the uh, in the uh, in the Roman Catholic Church today, and they're mixing all kinds of things. Let's get real with God. Let's get real with God and stop playing all these funny games and all these funny things. Because let me tell you something: light and darkness doesn't go together. Is either you shine your light, is either you belong to the kingdom of darkness or you belong to the kingdom of God. You got to choose whether you want to walk on the narrow way because the narrow way is narrow. It's not a, it's not a, the narrow way is thin. It's not, um, it's not a, it's not wide. It's not broad. No, the narrow way is the net way that leads us into eternal life. Hallelujah. And, and we, we, we must, we must do everything everything we can to to walk on the narrow way so you know so i just want to say like listen we we gotta we gotta be careful in the things that we do yes we give um honor to our parents and the bible says obey your parents so that you can live long on the earth but you cannot give something to your mother and your father which belongs to god the day belongs to god we the day this is um early will i seek the face yes so early will you seek the face of the lord so we give our day to the lord so when you say mother's day you're, you're giving that day to your mother and you're not giving it to god that is idolatry 
wow wow god is speaking even to me so yeah so the day belongs to god almighty so you're giving the day to your mother you're celebrating no 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 that's 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 wrong mm -mm. yes so your mother you're giving a whole day to your mother and the day belongs to the lord so basically you yes it's, it's idolatry it's simply idolatry you may not see it that way but it is it is idolatry the day belongs to god almighty you cannot give a day to 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 your, your not to your uh, to your mom or your dad that's idolatry simples so yes so um yes so we need to repent from it we need to change our ways and allow um god to to filter our spirit to filter our minds to filter um our our thoughts yes to cleanse our thoughts and let us get right with him hallelujah praise the name of the living god you know there's so many things that happen in the body of christ today that you know um the we, we've we've just oh we just oh it's, it's 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 not harming nobody um we just we're just trying to do this and trying to do that but is 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 it god has god really told you to do that so we must be careful in the things uh, in the things that we do because in 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 this in this time right in this time what is the difference between the kingdom citizens and the world citizens there is a difference because we got a holy spirit and fire and if we are doing things that are like them then we're we're, we're, just, we're just like them if we're doing things like the world we just like the world we cannot be like the world we, it's, 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 it's not it's not right we cannot be like the world and then even some people what they're doing is that you know they, they are they are they are trying to um what's it called to get souls or to get people into the house of god they'll, they'll change so many things that are that are um worldly and put um like Christ, <laughs> christianize it or whatever it's, it's it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not you, you can you kind of like example um what's that song if jesus says yes no one can say no if jesus says yes, no one can say no so that even that song that beyonce song that the, the beyonce the the beyonce song is is a worldly song and and, and then what will happen is that we, we we use it and then uh we christianize it it's it's common and then uh something like uh alicia keys the alicia keys uh one of the alicia keys song um oh nothing if I got you something like that and then they'll take that beat and everything of that song and then they'll christianize it it is it, nah man you, you can't be doing that it is that is wishy-washy Christianity you know it's like we take all these beats from the world and all these rhythms and all these uh, traditions and and cultures of the world and we put it into Christianity and just put a uh, Christianity label on it. That is that's not right. That is that is that is lukewarmness. That is the, like the Church of Lord this year. It's, it's like yeah, it's, a, it's like the Church of Lord this year. You know that that hot or cold. Come on, somebody. We we gotta be better than that. We gotta be better than that. It's like it's like we it's like we have to we have to go to the world yeah we have to go to the world uh, take the things of the world put it to christianity and mix it up as if god has run out of ideas as if god <laughs> as if god is limited come on oh. god is not limited god is 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 oh. the bible says the earth is his full stone the heaven is his front imagine he is wise he is intelligent like have, has god run out of ideas come on somebody the reason why we're not maximizing or uh fulfilling our potential is because we're not really surrendered or connected to the holy spirit to receive from him even most of these inventions that you see today it is god giving people inspiration and the and the and divine wisdom that they can create this stuff because God himself is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And then you're telling me God has run out of ideas? Come on, somebody. No. No.
that is not the god i know of the bible the god i know of the bible is is it has the impossible come on somebody that when i pray for the dead the dead comes back to life when i pray for the for for the cripple the cripple starts to walk again come on somebody when people are possessed with demons they are set free glory be to god that's the god i know I don't know a secularized God. I don't know a religious God. I know a God who's altogether lovely, altogether powerful. He, he, he penetrates through the hearts of man. He breaks the hardened hearts of men. The, uh, the, the, uh, the, the ones that are, that, that are so un, un, unreachable and he is able to touch them and save them and, and use them for in a mighty and special way. That's the God I know. The God I know it shows compassion to sinners. The God I know is the forgiver of sin. The God I know that is able to bless and no one can curse. Hallelujah come on somebody when people have write them off then then god steps into the scene and, and 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 changes their lives around that's the god i know that's the god i worship the god i worship is not a is it, we, do, we don't i it's not it's not it's not idolatry no we worship him in truth and in spirit hallelujah through his son christ jesus glory be to god mm. So we, we must we must be careful in the things that we do. Come on, somebody. We, we cannot just we, we cannot just treat God anyhow. Come on, we can we are we, we are come on, he's holy. He's holy. You're not. We're not. We're not holy. We're only holy through the blood of Jesus. We're only justified through the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. It's through his mercy, it's through his grace that we are holy. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we gotta we gotta do everything that we can. In the holiness and righteousness of God. That's it, right? We got to be right and holy before God. Blessed are they pure in heart, for they shall see God. It's simple. How can you see God through Mother's Day? Come on. It doesn't make no sense. The day is it's called Mother's Day. It's not even God's Day. Why don't, you, why, why don't we pick a day and call it God's Day, Jesus' Day, Kingdom, at least Kingdom Day? Nothing. You know, so it's, it's it's just it's ridiculous. And even if we're celebrating um, Jesus Christ on Christmas Day, why do we take one day or whatever, especially especially one day to celebrate Jesus? No, we should be celebrating Jesus Christ every single day. He's the giver of life. He's the resurrection of life. We should be celebrating him every single day. Glory be to God in truth and in spirit. Hallelujah. For his goodness, for demonstrating his love towards us. As the whilst we are sinners, he died for us on the cross. Glory be to God. And he rose again that we can have eternal life. Glory be to God. Mm. Come on, let's not pretend. Let's not be fake, huh? We, 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 we cannot be fake Christians. We, we got to be real Christians. We got to live before the Lord, you know? Come on. You know, let's not, let's not be in idolatry. Let's not be rel too, uh, too religious. Come out of religiosity. Be more kingdom focused. Be focused on Jesus Christ. Let Jesus Christ be the Lord and master, master of your life, friend of your life. Hallelujah. Not a slave to the world. No, no, no. Not a slave to the world. But he is our friend and he is our king and he is our Lord. And let us do, do things. Let us celebrate him. We celebrate Jesus. We don't celebrate Mother's Day. We don't celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate Easter. We celebrate Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit. And let me tell you something. If you, if you argue with me or if you, or if you, uh, if you, if you have a problem with this statement, uh -oh, please message me. Let's message, message me. Let's get back to the, let's get in the Bible. Let's get to the Bible. If, if you uh, show me where in the Bible, God bless you, show me the Bible where it says we should celebrate Christmas Day. So show me the Bible where it says we should celebrate Easter Day. Show me the Bible where, whereby we should celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day. Show me in this word. The Bible tells us point and is very clear. We should honor our parents. Every, and and it's, it, it, shouldn't take, it shouldn't take one day. It shouldn't take one day to... to, to uh, honor our parents or celebrate our parents it should be every day every day but we don't celebrate them in a in a in a way that it takes the place of god mm -mm. we have to honor our parents every single day and not more than jesus christ because we give jesus christ the first we give jesus christ the first we give him the first and 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 the other things follow after that so it is very it is very simple but i think you know, sometimes we, we as, uh, as, as the kingdom citizens, we make things so complicated and we make things so, I don't know, so, mm, uh, 
un, is it ungodly un, un, yeah ungodly we do things uh, ungodliness yes it's ungodliness if i put in that sense uh you know uh put things we, we put go, uh, things before god and that's not how it's supposed to be we give God the best and we give God the first and then we celebrate other things. Hallelujah. Yes, we celebrate other things and we don't give them uh, the, 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 how would you put it now? Um, we don't celebrate it or do it beyond God. Yes, because if we do things that are beyond God and we excel uh, and we adore and we admire or we give reverence to things that takes the place of God Almighty, yes, and then it is actually idolatry. Glory be to God. So let us be, um, let us be wise in what we do. Let us be, uh, let us understand what we do. You know, it is so important what we uh, we need to understand what we do, how we do it, and let us give God the best. And, we, and as we give God the best, we, we can celebrate our people, you know. We can celebrate our people. Uh, people may think oh, I'm against Mother's Day or something like that. But understand why I'm against it. You can't just say, oh, I'm a religious person or I'm, 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 I'm showing legalism or whatever it is. No, there's a reason why I speak this way because as Christians need to wake up, and really do things that are right because if it was right that we're celebrating mother's day then i'll say okay yes okay fine but i i don't believe i don't believe and just because i say i don't believe they say oh, it's just my opinion no it's not my opinion i'm not when i say i believe i say i believe through the lens and eyes of god if that makes sense when i say i believe i'm talking because i'm talking by the holy spirit if that so you must understand <laughs> you must understand what i'm saying because some people they say oh when uh, somebody says oh i i, I use the word i is about me it's not about god <laughs> oh come on somebody so that's why some people even when they uh when they prophesy they'll have to say that says the lord but if you if you look in the bible how many prophets when they prophesy say that says the lord come on not every single prophet will say that says the lord but they are speaking the they are prophesying and they're speaking the word of god so sometimes us christians we like to be very um uh, what's it called technical or i don't know some funny business <laughs> i find it funny sometimes but you, you must hear by the spirit glory be god because you know god has given me this thing is a, is a gift and you know how i can tell that some people are christians without even asking them um speaking to them is god will will, will, will come into my spirit and it's like it goes ching. it's like there's a prompting in my spirit that tells me this person is a christian or sometimes when i when i when i see the glory the glory and the presence of god over christians i know yeah wait a minute that's a christian because our spirit bears witness with our spirit that i am a child of god hallelujah and if your spirit is not bearing witness with your spirit that 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 you're connected then there's something wrong there so that is why we 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 are able to connect to these kind of things why because god is the one that is speaking and mother's day does not connect to me father's day does not connect to me uh, you know easter does not connect to me uh, you know valentine's day does not connect to me i connect to the holy spirit hallelujah we connect to the holy spirit because he's a spirit of truth glory be to god he's the one that gives a wisdom revelation might and um, counsel you know he's the one that's working everything together for our good that we grow from glory to glory and faith to faith we cannot move from glory to glory and faith to faith if we're adding the flesh carnality strange fire and all these things of the world how can we grow how can we move forward as the kingdom citizens of heaven taking uh taking the world by storm the bible says in the day of john the baptist the kingdom of god has seven violence and the violence they take it by force and and the world is taking things away from the from Christians. The Bible says the devil comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. And he's using worldly stuff. And he's blinding us Christians from not seeing who Jesus Christ is. And that is why there's no power in the church. That is why we cannot experience the tangible glory of God. Why? Because we're washing. We're, we're, we're mixing stuff together. We're polluting the things of God. Lord of mercy. Mm. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy on us. 
Holy Ghost. Oh, have mercy upon your people. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Everywhere that we've gone astray from you, bring us back on track on the narrow way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, save us, Almighty God, that we can display your glory, your splendor, your beauty in such a unique way in this end time. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless your church. Bless your people, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, dear beloved people, God bless you, brother Paul, for tuning in. Glory be to God. And I pray that this word uh, will touch somebody's life. This word will be a blessing to somebody. Glory be to God. And I, and I, and I really pray that you've heard me by his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, what a beautiful and awesome day it is. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Master and Saving King of this day. God bless you.